Hi everyone, this video is to show off one of Fumbi Studio's newest designs. Uh, this is the Torque 3 computer from the Transformers G1 episode, Day of the Machines. Uh, this is the episode where this is actually a human-built computer that was uh, taken over by Megatron and then it was meant to then enslave uh, human technology as well as enslave the Autobots. Um, this is actually a really nice design from Fumbi Studios. I had a lot of uh, fun printing to this one. And uh, I've, I've actually made a few design modifications on my own uh, to make it a little easier to play with uh, and use. But uh, as you can see, it's printed in a beautiful blue metallic um, filament, which gives it that really nice shine. Uh, the front face, it actually comes with four different faces, uh, which is actually pretty nice. So you can actually choose from four different um, faces for the front. So you can see the one pictured there. Uh, it also comes with this one. It also comes with this one. And it also comes with this one. Uh, I modified the design a little bit, so you actually don't need to use any um, adhesives or anything to actually change the faces in and out of the whole the face inside the uh, the front screen um, there's actually you can actually just kind of tuck it in I've actually created a channel inside so you can actually just and they'll be cut so you can actually just um, you know fold it up a little bit pull out the the face that you're using slip in a new one you know to change out the the scenery um, or if you don't want a face at all that's fine too it'll just be a blank screen uh, it's just a regular blue metallic behind that uh, so whatever uh, works best for your display uh, would be great. Or if you really wanted to um, hop on, screenshot the episode and make your own face, uh, it's just that simple. You could just create your own and then just tuck it in there um, and that'll work just as well. So give you uh, some more uh, views of the, of the uh, piece. Here's the side. As you see, they've added a lot of really nice detail to this. Um, I, was, I was really impressed with how much detail they added to this piece. And the slide around the back. Uh, there's several pieces in here. They're all actually all just kind of, uh, they're pegged together. So the piece comes apart pretty easily, uh, which is great. You know, it makes it a lot easier to ship. Um, easy to assemble. It just kind of, pick, it just all just pegs together. And uh, on the back, uh, their original design, they had a removable panel on the back. I actually converted that to actually a door. So you can actually store the additional faces uh, directly inside when you're not using them. You can actually just store them right inside um, or use it for additional weapons or whatever you want to do. Uh, the door also uh, features five mil uh, portholes. So you can actually store weapons back there. You can hang weapons back there, hang accessories that use the five mil port, uh, which is actually pretty convenient, kind of nice for your display. Just a little added feature that they put in there. Uh, like I said, I did modify that a little bit and turned it into a door rather than a fully removable panel, uh, just to make it a little easier to deal with. And I thought it looked a little cleaner. So that's an advantage of uh, getting my design. And then it just pops together nice and easy. As you see, it looks, it, it's a really uh, beautiful looking design and the filament um, that I use, the metallic blue, uh, really shows off the detail really nice. Um, the width on this runs about 12 inches wide, so it'll definitely fit in your DTOF case, no problem, um, which is great for most of us collectors that use the DTOFs. Um, and scale wise, run, this is really like a Voyager or Legend scale. I had some people ask me about an MP scale version. Uh, it would take some redesigning. Uh, some of these pieces are pretty large and take a, quite a bit of time already. Um, I'd have to chop it up and uh, see how I can make that work. It's possible, but uh, that's gonna take a little time to work on. Uh, to give you an idea on scale, so here he is with a um, Siege Wheeljack. And then um, if you want to see him with an MP, um, here he is with MP 
36, Megatron, which to be honest with you, depending on where you, you know, where you, the uh, episode was, sometimes Torque was seen as towering over Megatron, sometimes he was about the same size. So it's, you know, um, we all know how the cartoon goes. So, um, you know, scale doesn't really matter. And so it's however you want to display and how it works best for you. Um, keep in mind too, if I, once we go up to MP scale, that will probably most likely not fit in any detail because that raises by about 150% in size. So uh, that's the newest piece from Fungi Studios. Um, I will be uh, offering this for sale on my, uh, through my online store, uh, through eBay, or you can reach out to me directly uh, through my Facebook page uh, and buy direct. Uh, it include, the, my pricing includes uh, free domestic shipping to the U.S. Um, and international buyers um, are definitely welcome. Uh, they're just paying additional cost uh, for the uh, for the shipping uh, across the border there. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed this piece. I look forward to talking to any one of you if you have any questions and I hope you all have a great day.